The United States is a multicultural society. We often interact with people who have relocated to the U.S. from all over the world, in our neighborhoods and in the workplace, some by choice and others because of the political, economic, and even lack of safety in their home countries. As a regional healthcare system, Orlando Health is committed to improving the health and quality of life of the individuals and communities we serve right here in the heart of Central Florida. Through exceptional customer service and patient experience, we have become a healthcare leader in the delivery of an extensive portfolio of specialized medical services. From emergency care, pediatrics and women's health, to orthopedics and surgical critical care, Orlando Health and our team members are recognized for our superior performance and outcomes. In order to continue building upon this path of excellence, it's imperative that we continue to provide a working and caregiving environment that celebrates diversity and fosters inclusion. In our daily encounters, we interact with a wide variety of people from different cultural and ethnic backgrounds, some more than others. Let's explore the diverse communities we serve. According to the University of Florida's Bureau of Economic and Business Research, Florida Population Projections, Orange County will be the home of over 1.4 million people by 2020, 18% foreign-born, and 36% speaking a language other than English at home. The largest ethnic groups will be Anglo-Americans representing 40%, Hispanics 32%, African Americans 22% and Asian Americans combined with other ethnic groups will represent the remaining 6% of Orange County residents. In Osceola County, the total population in 2020 will be 372,767, much smaller than Orange County. Close to 20% foreign born and 49% speaking a language other than English at home. In terms of ethnicity, Anglo-Americans will be 32%, Hispanics 54%, African Americans 11%, and Asian Americans along with other ethnic groups will comprise 4% of the Osceola County population. In terms of population numbers, Lake County will be the closest to Osceola at 355,318. However, only 8% of people in Lake will be foreign-born and 13% will speak a language other than English at home. Anglo-Americans will represent 71%, Hispanics 16%, African-Americans 11%, and Asian-Americans will make up the remaining 3% of Lake County residents combined with other ethnic groups. In Polk County, the total population in 2020 will be 697,959. 10% foreign-born and 18% speaking a language other than English at home. In terms of ethnicity, Anglo-Americans will be 59%, Hispanics 24%, African Americans 15%, and Asian Americans along with other ethnic groups will represent 2% of Polk County's population. Lastly, Seminole County is projected to have 474,656 residents in 2020, with 12% foreign-born and 20% speaking a language other than English at home. Anglo-Americans will be 62% of the total Seminole County population, Hispanics 21%, African Americans 12%, and Asian Americans combined with other ethnic groups will total the remaining 5%. These population projections focus on the more prevalent ethnic groups in our backyards, but there are emerging pockets such as the growing Haitian community of 30,500 that is dispersed between Orlando, Kissimmee, and Sanford. You may also be familiar with Orlando's Little Vietnam, or what is now called the Mills 50 District. This commercial area is the home of Orlando's largest Vietnamese community of 15,000 people, with many of the best restaurants and grocery stores located in an 8 to 10 block area centered at the intersections of Mills Avenue. There is another smaller Vietnamese community living in the Pine Hills area of West Orlando. Just as Little Vietnam is headquartered in the thick of a commercial area, Little Brazil in Orlando has taken over International Drive outward from Kirkman Road. There are approximately 300,000 Brazilians in Central Florida, according to Brazil's consulate in Miami. 
It is also important to highlight our deaf and hard of hearing population, which represents two out of every 100 people throughout the state of Florida and use American Sign Language as their primary mode of communication. According to the National Association of the Deaf, the deaf and hard of hearing community is diverse. There are variations in how they became deaf or hard of hearing, their level of hearing, age of onset, educational background, communication methods, and cultural identity. Managing all of these diverse cultures can pose new great opportunities to our role as caregivers and healthcare providers in our region, starting with how we communicate with them. We are also continuously working to meet and exceed the standards of regulatory agencies that have established guidelines for the provision of healthcare services that are culturally and linguistically appropriate. As part of the Orlando Health family, we want you to feel confident and to be effective in managing every single encounter you have with fellow team members, patients, vendors, and visitors. And so what can you do to be part of this journey to increase cultural awareness of the diverse populations that we serve? What is Orlando Health doing to continue to provide you with the tools to deliver culturally and linguistically appropriate care? We are making sure that we have the latest demographic updates and conduct an annual needs assessment that includes U.S. Census data such as population breakdowns of the five counties we serve, ethnicity and primary languages, hospital data regarding language assistance, patient ethnicity and cultural preferences, and community data regarding local organizations and outreach programs we are able to support. Orlando Health Policy includes interpreting and translation of vital documents, and we also have a language access services list among our resources. We post at all points of entry comprehensive signage that informs patients that we provide free interpreter services, and we are training more of our team members every year as part of our interpreter program to provide qualified interpreter services to limited English proficient patients. Other programs and learning opportunities include the Cultural Development Resource Nurse Program and Department in Services. And additional services include or language assistance that can be delivered face-to-face, -face, by phone, and through the use of video interpreting devices. Lastly, we are continuously adding to our health links and cultural toolkit resources to empower our team members to increase their overall cultural awareness. Let's pause and think about the tremendous impact our work in the healthcare industry has in the lives of people from all over the world that now call Central Florida home. Every day we open our doors to care for them, nurture them, and restore them when they need us the most. Help us continue to build Orlando Health's reputation as a hospital network where compassion and exceptional care are part of an extraordinary healthcare experience. <laughs>